the end is the beginning. Six hundred years and I'm gone. Never before have I started a review with the words, the end is the beginning. But as Fiona started her album as such, I thought I would as well. Track one from her brand new album is a treat. It's the title of the album and 600 years in a moment is probably the groundbreaking new release she dreamed of. This amazingly talented Australian artist just oozes class beyond the pale realms of the legions of the New Age piano genre. Her sultry voice leads us so gently into an album of majesty and grace, but a talent so rare and a track so crafted as the opener at some six plus minutes long is not only courageous, but stunning. In a way, it's the album that I wrote when I grew up. Blue Dream was about my life and 600 Years was about um, looking at the world in a different way and, and asking the question of globalisation in a musical sense. And so I took a handmade contemporary Australian piano, which is a Stuart and Sons, and I recorded it with ancient instruments from around the world to create an idea of time and space and distance and history. And uh, I guess to bring the, the village into a, a contemporary setting. And I think the answer to that question was about um, bringing worlds together. I was very fortunate to work once again with Will Ackerman and also with Corin Nelson. It's probably one of the first albums that was uh, has got the, the producer credits of Will Ackerman, Corin Nelson and Fiona Joy Hawkins. So I got to produce my own album as well and I'm, I'm really proud of that. I worked with some amazing people uh, who played incredible instruments from Alfredo Rolando Ortiz who played the Paraguayan harp. Rebecca Daniel played a 275 year old violin. Uh, we had uh, the Moran Kerr and Mongolian Throat singing by, uh, by Buku, uh, the Turkish Ud by John Robinson, a number of incredible uh, and wonderful ancient instruments. And of course, one of the oldest instruments is the voice. And both Heather Rankin and Rebecca Daniel did a wonderful job singing on the album. Uh, I did some vocals as well. Uh, probably not quite as solo as them, uh, but in more of a supportive way. So we've really, we've really covered a lot of elements. It's instrumental, it's vocal, we sing in Gaelic. Uh, we cover a lot of different world feels, um, uh, in, including Arabic, you know, a little bit of African, but mostly Celtic. There's also the Australian didgeridoo, which is our oldest instrument. So there's a lot happening uh, on the album. And, um, and I hope I hope you get to enjoy it. I also produced it uh, in some other formats, including an SACD 5.1 surround sound and vinyl. So um, thanks for listening.
The last track starts with a melancholy flute and is the climax to what has in truth been a breathtaking album to review. Very emotional and very heartfelt and now we must take stock of all that we have heard as Fiona Joy Hawkins begins to draw the curtains on this musical sojourn. Forgiveness is a composition that almost teaches us the very lesson of the title itself. And this is a gentle and loving and soul-searching track to end with. In 600 years in a moment, Hawkins has pulled off what I can only call a masterpiece in the genre she is in. But what is that genre? Certainly, here Fiona Joy Hawkins has crossed cultural boundaries and taken us on a journey across all borders and brought the world a classic album that each and every one of you should really go on and purchase now. For this is an album that has been crafted by the hands of a genius.